<laughs> well, hello. Today's topic is a kind of an overreaching one. It applies to so many things. So stay with us because there's going to be a lot of meat in this as we unfold this. Uh, it's called the ultimate cause for just about everything. And we really mean that. This is, this is the, we've seen this over and over and over again. And it's a cause you don't see, you don't see in conventional means, but yet, yet we're going to unfold that for you here. And my guest today is from Ireland, one of our advanced students, Anne Ryan. So say hello, Anne. Hi, everybody. Hi, Gary. Hi. Okay. So let's start off with it. We're going to get to a lot of stuff here, but but most people, when they go to a doctor, for example, or they come to us or any other people in the healing field, they tend to say, hmm, I have a so-and-so problem. My shoulder hurts. Okay. Uh, I have a disease or a disease symptom that is bothering me. They don't come and say, you know, I'm not really very peaceful inside. Can we take care of that? <laughs> Do they or not? Talk about that, can you, Anne? Yeah, I, I think generally, no, that, that's not what people kind of come looking for. And, and yet, you know, wouldn't our lives be so transformed if we had that sense of inner peace more and more of the time and ultimately all of the time but no it's not i mean pe people generally come as you've said because you know they've anxiety or a physical symptom or a disease or or whatever yeah absolutely yeah and, and as, it, as it turns out as it turns out we can actually take care of many of those things okay mm -hmm. with our process but what we really want to emphasize here is we have a much bigger picture going on now most people that i talk to sort of know intuitively that when we're angry about something or we're feeling guilty about something we're having negative emotions that that can cause physical things they know that intuitively it doesn't it's not maybe it's, it's not maybe talked about in conventional circles but they know it intuitively yeah, I'm angry, and yeah, when I do, my blood pressure goes up, and, 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 and all of that. We were talking, and before this recording started, mm. but there was a, a case, an example you were using. Can you talk about that for the moment? Yeah, I had a lady came to me um, about four years ago, um, and and the issue she came with was feeling really isolated and ostracized by her family, her siblings. I mean, she's you know, an adult, but by her kind of siblings, um, just for one reason or another, just, you know, they're all at me, they're all out to get me. Yeah, that was, so that's what she wanted to work on. And um, in the first session, as she sat down and was getting comfortable on the chair, she coughed a couple of times and she said, oh, you know, excuse me, like that old thing that, you know, every, every winter that comes back. Of, oh, I've had that for 25 years. And then she turned to me like to get on with what she'd come for. Um, and what caught my attention was, oh, 25 years, like every winter, I've got this recurring thing. And I said to her, what happened 25 years ago? And she said, oh, that's when my divorce happened and my marriage was terrible. But, you know, yeah, that's not what I'm here for. You know, understandably, she's come because she's not getting on with siblings and, and she's feeling awful about it. So we, you know, addressed what, she, well, it was a work in progress, but we worked on what she came for. But by about our third session, um, it was still like, it's like the unseen therapist had this little, you know, like this antenna or radar that was going mm, beep beep you like <laughs> this is really really important like just, just kept pulling me back to it you know so of course it's it's a it's a balancing act because that's fine for me to hear the unseen therapist but the, the person I'm working with you know m might not see the the logical reason to go there anyway by the third session I was able to say mm, you know that cough which was of course gone now it's three weeks later you know, I so said that that cough and, you know, 25 years ago. And, and I started to explain that because she wasn't hadn't made the connection, you know, that so often in, in our world of, of optimal EFT and in lots of other modalities, like there are, you know, emotional reasons or specific events underneath our physical issues. Um, I would say always, but, you know, 
to be polite, I said, so often there are. And and it still was like, no, no, it's just the cough and when my chest gets cold or I haven't to scarf on. There was, you know, a lot of resistance. Anyway, we 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 tiptoed into it and it was, you know, it was a piece of work that took us quite some time. Anyway, fast forward on a little bit longer. I'm now four years later and the cough doesn't come. I mean, the most is she might occasionally say, I have this tiniest shadow of that thing I used to get, which is brilliant because I think, ooh, there's <laughs> a little piece we didn't get if there's still the tiniest shadow. But to all intents and purposes, mm -hmm. this cough that went deep into her chest and needed medication, yeah. whatever, is gone. Along the way, can I just finish? But Wait. along the way, you know, her relationship with her a number, with all of her siblings, and there are a number of them, um, through working on the older stuff, the specific events around the abuse of marriage, followed by the awful breakup, followed by, you know, what transpired from that. And it's like you mentioned, oh, you remember, you know, you used to get on with so-and-so. Oh, no, we were out for lunch on Saturday. And I mean, really quite transformed the relationships with each of those siblings. Yeah. So. So what happens, I wasn't there with your client, but let me, I mean, that's an excellent example here. Here we have a physical symptom, a cough. Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. nothing kind of thing. I've had it for 25 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. But so in my perception, that isn't nothing. It's something she's gotten used to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So yeah. she's so used to it that, you know, well, it's, it's nothing. I get, I get through my life. But <clears throat> okay. mm -hmm. It has a cause and that cause we need a we need a drum roll. If I, I wish I had some drums. Da, 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 da. In general terms, is a lack of personal peace in the system. Okay. Now, divorces can create lots of anger. Mm -hmm. They can create lots of guilt, and we tend to sometimes think about these things that oh that's routine. It's just but they go unresolved. Mm -hmm. And they show up physically. Now, I, this is something I've talked about many times, but it really, really fits here. This is there is actually a actually a very well known medical concept behind all of this. And every doctor will tell you if you are experiencing negative emotions, anger, grief, guilt, fears, resentments, this kind of thing, which can very clearly come from a divorce. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, when you're experiencing those things, even though they're subconscious and not necessarily in your immediate recognition, your system creates a literal cascade of negative chemistry. That's my term, negative chemistry. Cortisol goes out of balance. Adrenaline goes out of balance. Hundreds, hundreds of chemical reactions that go to repair the body get compromised. And so things happen like a little cough. Now, it wouldn't surprise me to learn if you hadn't gone back and taken care of that cough, those emotional things causing the cough are going to someday cause cancer. Okay. They're going to someday cause some other really serious physical hmm. disease. But what you did, and maybe you could talk about this a little bit, is you went back to that divorce and the angers and all the stuff involved in that resolved them, brought personal peace to the system, and it not only helped her cough, but it helped all her relationships with siblings. Mm. That's me talking a bit. Am I on point? I you are you are on point, absolutely. And and I think I think the peace that was within us as human beings that resists is sometimes like you said, divorce is, you know, so many people such a percentage of people get divorced and oh it's just you know it isn't when people are going through it but like people sort of put it in a box that's just part of life and that's done and now this is this many years later and and we forget that it doesn't have to be some horrendous abuse or trauma that you know a, a, a horrendous accident or a, a really big house fire, things that would be on our normal list. Like a lot of us and a lot of people, not us as practitioners, but a lot of human beings kind of go, oh no, that, you know, that it gets put in the box of 
you know, lots of people have that. And yeah. and we really don't realize sometimes that, I mean, I often use the, the analogy that somebody could go to the zoo as a three-year-old child and drop their favorite teddy bear, maybe never to be found again, you know, which could have as big an impact as something that would seem, you know, oh gosh, that was a yeah. terrible trauma that happened to that person. And, and it's like, yeah, it's like we really need to kind of recognize that. So as you say, her her thing was, oh, I've just lived, like, th this is nothing. And of course, it's not connected to, I mean, she really did not think it was connected. It's just, it happened to yeah. coincide yeah. at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to go back to my, yes, thank you. And if, to go back to my medical example for the moment, the interesting thing is conventional medicine recognizes this cause they recognize it yes i mean it's rather obvious but on the other hand unless medical schools have changed and i haven't seen any evidence of this they're not taught how to take care of that cause yeah. they're really taught how to take care of symptoms and they almost say in fact if you look at webmd and and the you know the many internet big medically designed websites you'll see over and over and over again if i guess in my in my intro e free ebook you know that conventional medicine doctors do not know what causes almost anything okay uh they and they say it doctors don't know what causes the true cause of this is not known da, 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 da. and yet in one sense it is known they just don't know what to do about it. Mm. And that's where optimal EFT, mm. the unseen therapist comes in so beautifully because we can reduce these things down to, take some skill to do this, but reduce to specific events in their life, in the divorce, you know, when they were arguing with the spouse about something or other and they felt really angry. You get down to that specific event and you shift that to, oh, that's so big. Mm. That, I need not carry that one around. I mean, why kind of stuff. You get that so people own that. Does not talk about it in their head. They own that. There's real peace in that. Mm -hmm. So what we're really trying to promote here is personal peace. In fact, the, the essence of our process is called the personal peace procedure. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and so people can come here and yes, they can. we can take care of things like their particular symptoms, et cetera. But the big picture, the thing we don't want anybody to walk away from and say, oh, well, my headaches are gone, so that's all we need. Mm. You miss the big one. Mm. The big one is the personal peace within. Mm. It allows for a more peaceful existence, mm. likely allows for fewer physical ailments, longer life, a mm. few, you know, not so important things like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's me pontificating a bit and do you have any other thoughts on this and the only other thing i would say is that i i see that the more people have peace in their system I, and and we're human so we come in and we come out of peace but the more humans beings have peace in their system as you said the symptoms either go away and disappear or they just lose their focus it's like they just aren't so important. And in that way, they're kind of fading away. So so e even if not everything absolutely goes yet, okay, yet, it's like it instead of it being kind of center stage spotlight, just taking up so much of our thinking and our mind and our concern and our worry, it's like it, it just loosens everything so much. That's yeah. what I see. And, and of course, a lot of it does disappear and, and can continue to resolve heal yeah release that brings me to a point and and this we talked about before but i just want to emphasize it again we talked about it in another recording okay people will come to us and they may have lots of ailments symptoms i got i got headaches i got sore shoulders i got this i got that i got you know these seven or eight things um and we'll start bringing personal peace to the system and we might be aiming at you know, the particular cause for a particular ailment and so on. Okay. And these things tend to get better. Mm. Yes. 
uh, and after a while, most of them have faded, but one or two of them are still kicking around. Okay, now, mm -hmm. conventional thinking would say, well, see, it didn't work on those. Mm -hmm. No, our thinking is, ah, we haven't gotten to the cause for those yet. Mm -hmm. They are symptoms. They are telling us, ah, there's more stuff going on. And, and, and a lot of us, myself included, okay, um, there's certain things we just don't want to look at. Certain things we've forgotten or that we've repressed, or we don't think that's important anymore, like your lady with the cough. Mm. Okay. Mm. And so, but that takes a little more digging. Unseen therapist, by the way, will, as we get more trust in her, can point right to where, where these things are and where to go right on. Okay. Mm. But, you know, I, I just want to, I want to point that out. People will tend to focus on what's mm. not done yet and they mm. will forget they got all these other other great benefits because mm. they're now so routine to them so subtle i mean did i really have that problem before that's yeah. how, that's how subtle it can really can yeah. really become it, it's kind of out of sight out of mind isn't it you know it, it, in a way once it's gone and yeah. and can i just add one thing you know in in terms of um in terms of aiming at the cause of the ailment i mean sometimes we get that straight away with the help of the unseen therapist like she helps us bring up specific events that really are the root cause of and and other times there can be many roots to it like not just one time when something happened so when the ailment is still there in a way and i know this is easy say if one isn't suffering with something but in a way it's like okay it's just telling you you said this gary but it's just telling us we've more to do so like Thank you for continuing to be there to allow me to find the more. Yeah, yeah. But on the other hand, what we want is a pill or a magic answer that makes it go away right now. Of course okay. we do. Yeah, yeah. We're looking for ultimate cause of things. Mm -hmm. Once we take care of this cause and we bring in peace, then the ailment can't show up again because there is no cause for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And by the way, when we're talking about cause, some people will say, well, I had an injury to my shoulder and that's what causes it. Okay. But that mm -hmm. shoulder should heal normally. And typically sometimes it does not, it just lingers and lingers and lingers. And that's, this is not in the medical books to my knowledge. Okay. That's because there is some emotional issue that is not resolved. That is for reasons I don't know how to explain, but I've just seen it create. I've seen addressing it with our process, create the, resolution of the problem over and over and over again um once you take care of this emotional cause once you find it and mm -hmm. take care of it then the shoulder sh starts yeah. to heal healing mm -hmm. is now released yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. very interesting very interesting big picture the big picture is let's have personal peace that's mm -hmm. what we're aiming at so anybody who's already a student and listening to this or a student to be perhaps listening to this we're aiming here for personal peace that's the biggie that's the big one anything more ann no that's lovely okay all right well with that in mind i will um sign off and we'll see you guys next time